Right, welcome, ladies and gents. Do you remember, like, Bob Iger talking about how, I don't know, they're doing well on certain profits here and there at the parks and things like that? Yeah, it's not really a surprise when you've been ripping people off for food. Walt Disney World food prices have significantly outpaced inflation. Sorry, what? I hate it when opportunistic companies do stuff like this. It's like, well, everything's going up. We'll just put our prices up. And then a little bit more as well. Okay, cool. That's just great. Thanks. Thanks very much. Like it's, it's genuinely really scummy. It's opportunistic. Um, I think it's I think it's incredibly scummy. Uh, and got to do a video on it, basically. This is a report from Finance Buzz. So they've just done a report averaging food prices, comparing it with inflation, and just seeing that Walt Disney is absolutely ripping everyone off, which is, yeah, sad. Sad. Because it's not like it's cheap to go there, is it? I can understand to a degree, not not fully, but to a degree, I can I can understand when entry is cheap, right? When the entrance to something is relatively reasonable, and you know they they make a profit elsewhere, right? So they get you in, and then they make a profit elsewhere. Walt Disney parks are incredibly expensive, incredibly expensive. Famously, the Star Wars resort was so expensive, it priced themselves out of the market. And rather than just lowering their prices, they binned the whole thing off. So, bizarre. But I thought we'd take a look at this, because it's fascinating stuff. Do hit subscribe if you're new here. Turn the bell notifications on. Uh, but yeah, like I said, this report here uh, is from... Well, it's a deadline report, but it is from Finance Buzz as well. So it says here, right... If you're visiting Walt Disney World with your family, you might want to eat first. Yeah. Because these numbers are quite large. So a new report from Finance Buzz shows prices for concessions at Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida have increased an average of 61% over the past 10 years. More than average increase in a single park ticket, which has gone up 56% over the past decade. 61% concessions have increased by in 10 years. What? What? Like, that's crazy. So the actual rate of inflation for the past 10 years was 32%. So almost double. <laughs> almost double. That is crazy. And it's not like they were cheap to begin with, is it? It's not like they were ever cheap. Madness. And it says here, rising high uh, are such fan favourites as the Dole Whip Dessert, which has gone up by 58%. So, 58%. And... They're doing it all on fan favourites, basically. So the mouse, Mickey Mouse shaped ice cream bar, 63%. So they're like, they're smart about it. They're like, right, what, what's what's selling really well? Right, we'll put that up, we'll put that up, we'll put that up. It's just really scummy. Really scummy. The highest single item increase is the bread service. At Animal Kingdom, restaurant so uh, Santa, that has climbed from $9.99 to $22 only in 10 years. In 10 years. In 10 years. In 10 years. It's more than doubled. That's crazy. You are being ripped off if you go to Disney World. Jet, like actually being, and do you know what I mean? these companies will get things so cheap as well. They'll get things dirt cheap, in bulk. Right? Is the food good? Maybe, but is it worth that sort of price? No, no, no. It's not. No, it's not. Because remember this, ladies and gents. They'd have been making a profit from the very start. So, and and the thing is, they they've outpaced inflation. So their profit margins, they've increased their profit margins. So they, they had a profit at the start. And then, and bearing in mind, the company's gotten bigger and bigger and bigger. So the contract 
sort of buying power is probably bigger now at this stage as well. So they're probably able to get more things in one go. They're making a profit at the start and they've outpaced inflation. So their profit margins have gotten bigger and bigger and bigger. Is it to pay for that $32 million for Bob Iger? His salary for doing absolutely jack shit. That's crazy, man. That is absolutely crazy, crazy sums of money. Just greed, isn't it? I mean, look, more power too, I guess, but it's pretty scummy. So it says here, prices for every single item have risen by at least $1.50, with most going up by at least $2 since 2014, Finance Buzz wrote in its study. But while food costs have skyrocketed, and here's the interesting part, the base price for the most affordable Disney World ticket has remained remarkably stable, going up uh, from just $19 from 2014 to 2024. So, are they increasing their profit margins by the food alone and nothing else? It's kind of what it sounds like, doesn't it? Which is weird. That's a weird business. That's a weird business move. So, the researchers obtained its data by taking current food and beverage prices from the Walt Disney World website and comparing them to the old Disney website using the Internet Archive Wayback Machine. It's a pretty good, pretty good source. Um, and here is the, oh, no, there you go. Well, here's the finance buzz one. Uh, here you go, that's what I was trying to find. Uh, Disney inflation, how prices have changed for iconic Disney snacks. Literally, just the snacks, just crazy. Key findings. The prices for food favourites, again, always the favourites, at uh, Walt well, Disney World have inflated 61% on average over the last 10 years. Cost of food at Disney World has inflated more than the cost of a single park ticket, which has risen by 56%. So it still has gone up. Still above inflation as well, mind you. Remember that. Inflation was like 32%. And the cost of a single park ticket has risen by 56%. So it's still going up. So they're still making an astronomical profit. And their profit margin still did increase as well. Uh, and th this is just what it... I mean, look at this. It's a good... It is a good, good report. It is a good report. And you remember, like, the thing about food. They're like bread service. Right, bread service. Now, I don't know what that is. If that's actually just bread, because it does say it's uh, apparently a beloved meal. I don't know how bread service can be a meal, but if it's bread is incredibly cheap to make, it's flour and water and salt. That's it. I know because I, I make sourdough, like, it's not hard. So, like, it's, it's, it's incredibly cheap. And they have it all here, all, all what is you know risen by bread service. Hundred and twenty percent they've increased it by corn dog nuggets. Hundred and sixteen percent increase. It's, it's madness. It's absolute madness. So there you go. Um, just thought you'd enjoy this. This is how Disney's ripping families off. Let me know your thoughts down below. If you're new here, do hit subscribe. Support further via Patreon. You can find that link down below. Cheers, guys. Take care. Bye bye now.